good. And each time you cock it back, it drops a bar. And at about 8.30 this morning, they arrived, all just to play a game, the national survival game. It is new to North Alabama and extremely new to this reporter. Two teams are selected, the reds and the yellows. Each player is supplied with the seal, two pistol, goggles, and paint pellets. Now, that is the key, because the paint pellets will mark anyone when he or she has been hit, thus eliminating you from the game. The object, to capture the opposing team's flag. This is going to be them against you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I was chosen for the red team. Still, I had a feeling that photographer Dave Smith and myself would make a large target and that our presence would hinder the rest of our team. We're going to be on the same team. Uh, do you have any, any regrets toward being on the team with me and this camera and my red hat? No, uh -uh. <laughs> not a bit. Because if, if everything goes right, y'all ain't going to save me no way. Now, when it, if you start We outnumbered the yellow you, squad 11 to 7, but they on. too had an advantage. Each were members of the Army's Ranger Corps, trained in tactical warfare. I don't think it's going to matter. I really don't. I think it's just going to be a lot of paint flying, really. Uh, they are in position. After a briefing by the survival game's president, Doug Bowen, we set up our camp guarding the flag and began our assault. At first, it was quiet, but it didn't take long for the action to begin. <laughs> They're behind the trees, they're yelling at us, we got no other choice, we're going for it. Ready? Go. Tomorrow night you will see how our strategy works. Mike Newton, Action News 19, reporting.